Today I'm going to show you how we made a chair at Hazel up in the woods using these sort of very basic tools, our homemade mallet, an axe, our basic drill and a ball of string and, a, and our little uh, very handy handsaw. So the first step is to go out and find yourself something about this thick and you need two struts the full height of the chair and two struts as the front support legs all of a, a similar thickness to that the reason being that the joints to hold the chair together that we have done are created using our uh, hand powered drill or arm powered should I say so let's give you a quick demonstration of that we've discovered the hard way that it may be slower but it's a lot easier to do a few turns in and then reverse back out again rather than just trying to plow your way through the whole thing which is faster but at the same time is absolutely killing on the arms shoulders neck and everywhere else so after quite a lot of hard work your holes <coughs> and we've put in four holes to take the struts across the other side and then two holes to connect to the front leg like so which when joined together will create the first half the side of our chair. To make the struts, we measuring when you're making something like this is a fairly rough game, but you basically make them all more or less the same length. So a piece of hazel about this thickness and then we're just trimming down using the axe to get to the end to the same diameter as the hole. Again, roughly. This is not machine tooling. It also helps if the first part is just a little bit narrower, so that goes in fairly easy and it gets harder and harder as it goes in. So you just literally then see if it goes in and yes that's quite good. So with a good tap with the mallet that will now wedge into that hole and start to create our chair. So the next stage using our uh, struts and our legs is to start joining it together. <coughs> Out comes the homemade mallet. So it is just a matter of tapping each one in This one, as you can see, we've created a joint by just cutting in with the saw and then splitting down, just splitting down, tapping it down with the mallet to split that piece off so that that, when it is tapped into here, will then sit on top of the leg. So what we discovered was these joints are fairly good but 
when you've create when you put the whole chair together like this it will be very wobbly and very shaky and come apart very easily um, if you sit extremely still you'll be fine but uh, try to move it anywhere or <laughs> start moving around and uh, things will start to shift so we came up with a solution which was to drill a smaller hole and then make pins out of pieces of oak so I'll just show you how to uh, create a small pin. So to make our oak pins, what we did was to cut off a piece of a, it was an, an old dead oak branch actually, uh, with the bow saw, and then we just purely split into that to get to the, uh, the nice hard middle and then split off a nice thin piece like that and then split it down again and that is the beginning of one of our pins and so now using a pen knife just whittle it down I'm just going to cut that end piece off because it's a bit thin and then whittle down the other way and you're really just trying to make it into a roundish pin that can be driven through the hole therefore binding the joint together Right, let's give this one a go. Never enough hands. That's driving in quite nicely. I think that's about as far as that's going to go. And I could just sort of swipe it with the um, axe, or I think a better way is then just to trim that off there. And we have the beginnings of our chair in a completed first side. As we were saying earlier, this idea then branched on to strengthening these joints using the same pin idea so to do that we just use this, the smaller drill bit we've got two for this drill we've got a big one and a small one and drill straight through the leg and the joining pin and then drive another one of those pins all the way through it and that really starts to make the chair very rigid. So here we have our finished woodland homemade chair without a single uh, screw or nail and um, the biggest point to emphasize really is the massive benefit of using those small um, wooden pins that we made out of the pieces of oak by splitting it down. Um, without those you end up with a very rickety affair on your hands. Um, it will work for a while and then it will just start slowly but surely falling apart. But with them in place it really does make it for a very you know, sturdy structure um, you know, to the point that you can actually, well I hope, sort of stand on it like this. You know, it's uh, really <laughs> quite uh, better hop off there before anything dramatic happened. Um, yeah, no, very, very strong. So the finishing touch is uh, the seat itself, which uh, we made out of just uh, lengths of uh, smooth, straight hazel, just bound together with some string, which can then just sit on top and uh, complete our homemade 
wooden chair. So after our initial success, we decided to take things a little bit further. And we decided to make ourselves a uh, second chair, model number two, and also a kitchen table. <laughs> Made on exactly the same principles as the chairs, exactly the same joints, and again, the wooden pegs really binding everything together with a, a lot more strength. And uh, just one word of warning that it feels like it takes almost longer to collect the wood than it does to make them. But that's also partly because making them is so much fun. And, uh, and I have to say, it's really quite bizarre, but uh, having built these, the two of us together, um, it really is a very satisfying feeling. 